Right, you alien scum. Everybody, get up against the wall. This is a raid. That's how we sit deep with smart mouth aliens. Now the rest of you, get up against the wall before I lose my temper again. What's this? Humans hiding out with aliens? They're Republic fugitives! Attack! <laughs> Ubaba Mulira. Ni and I can tell you from experience that they aren't any good at all against a simple vibroblade. That's why the Republic has been training soldiers in hand to hand and melee combat. Tong hai tuam jiji jum lumpa. Nita poe tikito. Dolpa da bongwaleo gandona chuchut. Kachi chu ita dundonga. Yuma lita kuto tun. Jila mulane ni dupobo. Wonga kumbis jang ba mulera. Ta kumjus tak miki grabul mogo. Kachichu ita bodunga. Tolba bank waleo ganda naru chuchut. Mogisha punga bola wana chikne. Ba mule slimo podada nanga kumbis mulera bes. Chi gratu loda pograshi onio kumba chin tondo mochuba. Loda nita kun. Ita patisa batua kacha tu tong. Bangra sha kon tija ka um. Chuba kaha chopa chawa chwish yunku. Jodo jit bunga rantang. Tolpa da bangwale kando na gugu chuchut. Kava dum ku pilio botenya. Bona nai kuchu. Hawaga boska chokola. Mucha shag panka. Runda di hotonga kun hanka bi. Wana kun bez ching palamule tung king ba nunotek. 
Tok ning chatukunde mulerabes. Tong abog sha umina. Wanga kumbis king balemura. Chuni yon tun chichi idatwana. Kava volpa muji kumana. Tag bis tu bunko kuki magpaka. Ting palachiska mule tunarana nu prata tungko si cha tuma wamama tuks keba toma. Nisha julorja kinkuno bule raji. Chancha Bulara, Umrao Chiska Duchi, On Chubanjiska Yanki, Titoke Gratun, Kum Chichakun, King Kachachunobra, Bogra Walano Tumbacha, Nechi Chuna Chubaching, Lorda Itaku, Witam Borakatong, Mulira Ashanturung, Ni Napotata Twangachun Tise, Igrutu haga jijiwa, wata juma wana hu wama hu hu na tek. Chi gratu loda bograshi oni un kamba chin tumbo mochuba loda di ta kun ida patisa batua kacha tu tong bograsha kun ti cha ka um chuba kah chapa chawa chuish yunku. Jodo jid bunga ranta, mucho shak pa khat. Kiye no no dama pa ole rachikun. Yikukuno no ba mule rachikun. Tong hit kun chon ching. Ne bobo je mata de punage. Dulpi kikyu ana. Ta kum ju stak miki grabul mogo. Kachichu ita bo dunga. Tolba bank, wale oganda naru chuchut. Mole sha punka bola wana chikne. Pa mule slimo puta da nanga kumbis mule rabes. Runda di hotonga kun hanka bi. Wana kun bez ching pala mule tonking ba nunotek. Tuk ning chatukunde mule rabes. Achuta, wonga kun bis dolpi kikuyana, dong patugas magdelea.
Dumpa kapalia monapata, bona nakachu, yin kin kun no ba mule rachi kun, tong na bun shanu yang. What what were you walking? I just clean those floors. My name's Kadir. I'm the janitor for this building. You must be the new tenant here, right? Eh? Never thought they'd rent that abandoned apartment. Hmm. You look like an off-worlder. What happened? You get stuck here because of the quarantine? Can't see any other reason someone would want to rent that old apartment. Don't know how much I can tell you, but seeing as how you're new here. Decent enough place to live, I guess, except for the lower levels. That's where the swoop gangs hang out. Just stay in Upper City and you'll be fine. You also might want to check out the cantina. I used to go there when I was younger. A good place to get a drink and find out what's going on in Upper City. Just keep following the apartment complex ring until you come to the elevator. It'll take you out to the upper streets near them. And from there, just head south a ways. You can't miss it. Don't know how much I can tell you, but... Well, the best place to go is probably Kebley Yurt's store. She's right across from the cantina, so you can stop in for a drink if you get thirsty while you're shopping. Just keep following the apartment complex ring until you come to the elevator. It'll take you out to the upper streets near them. And from there, just head south a ways. You can't miss it. Don't know how much... Not much of an issue for me, you know. I ain't never left Tars, and they ain't never gonna. A lot of other folks are sure riled up about it, but I don't really know much about it. I prefer to keep to myself mostly. But there's plenty of people at the cantina who'll be more than happy to tell you what they think about the Sith and their quarantine. I should get back to work anyway. I'll probably see you around here most of the time. The building doesn't clean itself, you know. Thank you. 
On it. It's open. Who are you? What are you doing in here? You can't just come barging into someone's home. That's no excuse. You can't just go around barging into people's apartments because you're curious. But at least you're more polite than that pig Holden. Just one of Darvik's men who can't keep his hands to himself. But all he got for his trouble was a nasty scar from my vibroblade. Too bad I'm the one still paying the price. I, I don't want to talk about it. I'm in enough trouble already. Besides, I don't know if I can trust you. No, I don't think so. I can't afford to trust anybody right now. Please, just leave me alone. I can't help you there. Since this thing with Holden, I've been scared to leave my apartment. I don't know anything about what's going on in the outside world anymore. Just one of Darvik's men who can't keep his hat. I, I don't... Good. I don't much like strangers in my home. Hmm? Leave the Sith but a quarantine on the planet. It's bad enough we can't leave, but all you off-worlders are stuck here too. Greetings and good day. On behalf of the new Sith rulers, I am programmed to encourage you to enjoy your stay on Talus. I am a critical droid programmed to provide information to everyone on Talus, citizens and visitors alike. Is there something I can do to serve you? Sith are the new authority here on Tavis. They seem to preserve the customs of our world. Also, I am told. More than this, I cannot say. May I be of any further service to you? I am afraid that is impossible. Tavis is currently under a planet-wide quarantine. The Sith are allowing no one to arrive or leave, except on official Sith business. May I be of any further service to you? The Taurus Tourism Board has issued a strong warning to all visitors to avoid the lower city. It is a violent and dangerous place you would do well to avoid. May I be of any further service to you? 
Alien species have restricted access to the other city. This is one of the most ancient traditions of Taurus, and the Sith that promise to preserve such traditions. Of course, I have yet to see them arrest a single alien for traveling the other city without a permit. May I be of any further service to you? I am an employee of the Taurus government, programmed to provide information and guidance to any who require it. May I be of any further service to you? Then if you will excuse me, I must continue my appointed rounds. I heard the gangs have overrun the lower city. Why don't the Sith go down there and restore order? I wonder if any of those Republic space pods survived crash landing in the Undercity. Out of our way, citizen. We're on official Sith business. Just stand aside if you know what's good for you. Taurus used to be a nice place before the Sith showed up and started bossing us around. If the Sith wanted to get on everyone's good side, they'd go clean up the swoop gangs in the lower city. I heard the Sith are sending salvage teams down to the Undercity to recover those Republic escape pods. Davik says you missed your last payment. Here, I I've got 50 credits, a down payment. That should buy me some time, right? Sorry, you're out of time. Now it's all or nothing. Davik can't have people not paying his debts. But I don't have that much. How can I give you credits I don't have? No, help! Somebody help! They're going to kill me! I know we have to be careful about drawing attention to ourselves, but are we gonna just let them drag this guy off? Hold on a second. Looks like we got ourselves a witness here. after me till I'm dead! You already helped me by saving me from those bounty hunters, so unless you have a spare 100 credits to give me so I can pay off Davik, there's nothing else you can do. I'm getting out of here before any more of Davik's goons show up. You should do the same! Can't you see I'm busy with my duties? Go talk to Zelka if you need something. I see from your appearance that you are an off-worlder. Still, you are welcome here. I will not have it said that Zelka Foreign refused to help somebody just because they weren't a citizen of Terrace. Do you require healing or medical supplies? I can 
treat almost any injury or ailment right here at the medical facility. Except the raccoon disease, of course. The terrible affliction has plagued Terrace for many generations. It is spread by the raccoons, horrible monsters that live in the Undercity below Terrace's great skyscrapers. Prolonged exposure to the Undercity breeds the disease, and those infected would eventually mutate into raccoons themselves, becoming mindless beasts that feed on the flesh of others. Mm, there is no antidote for the disease, though I heard the Republic scientists at the military base here on Terrace were close to perfecting a cure. Then the Sith arrived. They overran the military base, and now they refuse to allow anyone access to the laboratories inside. The Sith are keeping all the serum for the patrols they send into the Undercity. If I could just get my hands on a sample of that serum, the Rakgul disease could be wiped from the face of Terrace forever. I don't see how that's going to happen. I don't see how anyone could get their hands on that serum. The military base is crawling with Sith guards. Breaking in there would be a suicide mission. I suppose the Sith patrols in the Undercity might have a sample of the serum on them, if they hadn't already used it because of a Rakgul infection. But I doubt a patrol would just hand the serum over. And nobody is stupid enough to attack one of the Sith patrols, even in the Undercity. Please, don't say that! If the Sith hear you, they might think I'm suggesting you start attacking their patrols. They could shut me down. I only mentioned the serum because you asked. I don't actually expect anyone to get me the serum. Now, is there anything else I can do for you? It will just take me a moment while I examine your injuries, and then I'll administer the proper treatment. Welcome back. Are you in need of healing or medical supplies? I can treat you right here at the center for almost any condition, except the raccoon disease, of course. I am quite busy maintaining the facility, but I suppose I could spare a bit of time to answer some questions. What would you like to know? <laughs> I know enough to be scared of them. I've heard about the brutality of the Sith. I know what they do to the planets they conquer. So far, all they've done is ask me some general questions, but I'm afraid they might one day decide to shut this facility down simply out of evil spite. I guess there's not much I can do about the Sith. Except hope that the Republic finds a way to stop their conquest of the entire galaxy. I am quite busy maintaining the facility, but I suppose I could spare a bit of time to answer some questions. What would you like to know? I don't know much, but I'll tell you what I can. Do you want to know about Upper Terrace, or are you more interested in Lower Terrace and the Undercity? The people here in the Upper City generally like to think they're better than the rest of Terrace, but we're no better than anyone else. The people here can be selfish, greedy, arrogant, even prejudiced. That's why aliens need special permission to leave the Lower City. Maybe if more people in the Upper City weren't so self-centered, things wouldn't be so bad in the Lower City and the Undercity. The Lower City has been overrun by swoop gangs and thugs. If you're going to travel down there, you'd better go armed. If you don't get attacked by one of the swoop gangs, you'll probably end up beaten and robbed by one of Davik's thugs. Soon it will be as bad as the Undercity. Davik is the resident crime lord of Terrace. He deals in stolen goods, he trades in slaves and contraband, and it would take a month to list all the people he's made disappear. His slimy grasp even reaches here into Upper Terrace. Most of the shops pay him protection money, so he'll leave them alone. Yeah, the man is nothing but a thug. I guess I'm lucky. Since my medical facility doesn't make any profits, Davik doesn't bother me. But if you ask me, he's no better than the Sith. The Undercity is a wasteland, crawling with flesh-eating mutants called Rakgoons. I feel sorry for the outcasts that are forced to live there. I am quite busy maintaining the facility. Republic escape pods? I... No. Why would you ask me that? I don't know. Those pods crashed in the Undercity. I'm not involved in any way. I am quite... Of course. 
Just step over here and I'll show you what I have in stock. My prices are very reasonable. Just what I need to keep this facility operating. Ready. On it. It's open. What are you doing? Don't go in there. That door is for employees only. You recognize these soldiers? But how? Unless... Unless you're a friend of the Republic. I, uh... I'd better tell you what's going on. I only hope the Sith don't find out what I've done. Since the space battle overhead, people have been secretly bringing in these Republic soldiers who crash-landed on the planet. I had to take them in. What choice did I have? Their injuries are terrible. Most won't survive. But at least I can make their last days more comfortable. And at least here, they're hidden away from the Sith. Well, for that, you have my thanks. It's good to know that at least some of these men ended up in compassionate hands. I hate to imagine what the Sith would do if they discovered these soldiers here. But since their initial questioning, the Sith have not returned, so it may be my fears are unfounded. Thank you for keeping my secret. I only wish there was more I could do, but medical science has only come so far. I'm afraid there's nothing more anyone can do for these soldiers. Now, if you'll excuse me, I should return to the front in case anyone comes in needing medical attention. Psst! You there! Wait a minute. I need to talk to you about the Rakul serum. I've got an offer for you you might want to hear. Zelka isn't the only one who wants to get his hands on the Rakul serum. Davik Kang will pay you ten times what Zelka can if you can get the cure. Davik's interested in anything that can turn a profit. He could make a fortune selling the serum to anyone infected with the disease. Not like Zelka, who'll practically give it away. Look, Zelka can't afford to pay me much. If you sell the serum to Davik, I can probably get a nice finder's fee for directing you to him. Davik isn't the kind of guy you can just walk up to, you know. He likes to keep his business at arm's length. The best thing to do is to take the Rakul serum to Zax. He runs the Lower City Bounty Office, but everyone knows he also works for Davik. He'll make it worth your while. Just deny it. Who's Zelka gonna believe? Me or some off-world stranger? And be smart about this. You'll get a better deal selling to Davik. And then only the rich could afford the cure. Just let the poor suffer, right? If you find the Rakul serum, just take it to Zax in the lower city bounty office. He works for Davik. He'll pay you what that cure is really worth.
Taurus used to be a nice place before the Sith showed up and started bossing us around. I heard there's a swoop gang war in the lower city. They say you can get... I wonder if any of those Republic space pods survived crash landing in the Undercity. People complain about the Sith, but this quarantine is good for all the businesses on Terrace. Look at Javier's Cantina. That place has never been busier. What's on your mind? Me? Well, I've been a star pilot for the Republic for years. Seen more of my share of wars. I fought in the Mandalorian Wars before all this started. But with all that, I've never experienced anything like the slaughter of these Sith and Alice Combination. Not even the Mandalorians were that senseless. My home world was one of the first planets to fall to Malak's fleet. The Sith bombed it into submission, and there wasn't a damn thing our Republic forces could do to stop it. It shouldn't be my fault. I did everything I could. I followed my orders and did my duty. That, that shouldn't mean I failed them. I, I didn't. Yeah, no, I... That's not what I mean. I mean, I, I'm sorry, I'm not making much sense. You probably mean well with your questions. I'm just not accustomed to talking about my past very much. At all, actually. I'm more used to taking action, keeping my mind focused on the business at hand. So let's just do that. If you have more questions, ask them later. I heard the Sith are sending salvage teams down to the Undercity to recover those Republic escape pods. Hello there. I haven't seen you in my shop before. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Kepler Yurt. Welcome to the Equipment Emporium. You looking to buy some supplies? My shop's the largest one in all of Upper Terrace. Best selection on the planet. Whatever you need, I've got. Well, mostly. Mostly? What do you mean by that? The Sith confiscated all my heavy weapons, and they impounded all my ships and swoop bikes. But I've still got a real nice selection, if you're interested. Anything I can do to help a potential customer out. What do you want to know? I heard a couple of pods crash down in the Undercity. I bet the crash sites have already been stripped clean by the Sith, though. Unless the Swoop Gangs or Dabix men got there first. I don't have anything good to say about those Swoop Gangs. Zooming around on their Swoop bikes, terrorizing the lower city like a bunch of animals. Things weren't so bad when the Hidden Vex were running the show. But ever since the rise of the Black Volker Gang, <laughs> The lower city has been nothing short of a war zone. The Sith haven't even bothered trying to maintain order down there. And I heard a rumor that Davik's own people are having problems with the Black Volkers now. Oh, Davik's a legitimate businessman, if you get my drift. Smuggling, slaving, extortion. Mm -hmm. They say he's a member of the Exchange, you know, the big intergalactic criminal organization. Mm. Well, I've heard of the Exchange. Bad organization to cross. But if anyone has blockade-breaking ships, however, it's them. I have to pay them a protection fee every month, but it's reasonable. And I get most of my inventory through Davik and his suppliers. So I'm just smart enough not to ask where it came from, you understand? Careful where you say that! Davik's got spies and agents everywhere. Besides, he's as much a part of Terrace as the skyscrapers or the swoop gangs. Davik hates the Sith as much as anybody. The quarantine has put a real dent in his operations, too. But he's keeping a low profile as long as the occupation lasts. <laughs> Davik stays out of the way, and the Sith don't bother him. The Swoop Gangs could learn a thing or two from this tidy little arrangement, instead of always going after each other. Uh, 
it's not smart to say bad things about the people in power, if you get my meaning. I just wish the Sith would ease up on the quarantine. They're killing my business. I can't say I like having them here in Upper City, but it could be worse, and we're still a lot better off than the Lower City, what with those swoop gangs and all. Oh, you're one of those off-worlders, aren't you? Come to Terrace for a short business trip and end up stuck here because of the Sith quarantine, right? Oh, you can't be too happy. Trapped on an unfamiliar world and all. But Terrace isn't so bad. As long as you stay in the upper city, just try to avoid the Sith. And stay out of the lower city. The swoop gangs are totally out of control. Even Davik's men are having trouble down there. Good day to you, then. Uh, remember to come back to my shop if you ever need any supplies. Welcome to the Equipment Import. Uh, just so you know, the prices on the items are our final. No bargaining here. This isn't a swap meet, okay? I only deal in top-notch stuff. Don't you just love watching the Pazak players? All that strategy, all those credits. It's enough to make a girl get all flushed. Bother you, Vaughn. Have you come here just to bother me, or do you wish to test yourself against the best Pazak player on Taurus? <laughs> My name is Niklos. I'm the unofficial champion of the Pazak circuit here on Taurus. If you don't mind losing your wager, we could play a few hands. You don't even have your own deck? Then why are you bothering me? You can't play Pazak without your own deck. If you're serious about Pazak, go speak to old Garuk on the other side of the tavern. His gambling days are over, and uh, he's looking to sell his deck. Back again? Well, do you have a deck yet? Would you like to play some Pazak? If you ever wish to test yourself against the best Pazak player on Taris, <laughs> you know where to find me. Hello there, youngster. You interested in buying the Pazak deck of an old man looking to get out of the gambling game? Just 50 credits and I'll sell you all my cards. I'll even throw in a free lesson to boot. It's a great deal, if you can afford it. My name's Garuk. I used to be a card shark. One of the best Pazak players in the Outer Rim. But that was before I retired from the gambling life. Don't get me wrong, the game's been good to me over the years. I've traveled the span of the galaxy, from the core worlds to the farthest reaches of the Outer Rim. I've won countless fortunes, and lost countless more. But that was long ago, and things have changed. Gambling is a young man's game. That's why I'm looking to get out. My offer still stands. 50 credits get you my old Pazak deck, and a free lesson. A great offer if you can afford it. Glad to see you're interested in the grand old game. The rules are pretty simple. Here, I'll load them up into your data pad so you can check them out anytime you want. Good luck. I hope the game's as good to you as it was to me. 
Now, is there anything else I can do for you?
Back again? Is there something old Garouk can do for you? Or did you just come to chat with a lonely old man? Of course, of course. My mind isn't as sharp as it used to be. That's why I'm giving up the gambler's life. But I think I can still manage to answer some simple questions. Mm, don't know what I can tell you that would be of any use. The upper city is nice enough, though it was better before the Sith showed up. But they don't bother an old guy like me much. Don't know much about the lower city. It's rough down beneath. I just stay up here where it's safe and mind my own business. I don't see much point in worrying about that kind of stuff now that I've given up the gambler's life. Is there anything else I can do for you? Of course. I spend my days here in the cantina, sipping ale and chatting with the folks who wander by. I don't have much use or care what goes on outside these walls. I don't see much point in worrying about that kind of stuff now that I've given up the gambler's life. Is there anything else I can do for you? No, of course, of course. No sense in a youngster like you wasting your days away with an old man in a dingy bar. But if you ever want to chat, you know where to find me. Sorry, but I'm not here looking for conversation. I just came to get a drink, listen to some music, and try to relax before my next shift at the military base. I don't wear my uniform when I'm off duty. It's not allowed. In fact, anyone in uniform is banned from entering the cantina. The officers don't even like it when we show up here off duty. Don't like us fraternizing with the locals, I guess. But it gets pretty stale hanging around the base all the time. Besides, the Sith don't own me. Being a soldier in their fleet is just a job, you know. A job with long hours and low pay, my dad. When I signed up, I was promised adventure and excitement in exotic locales. Instead, I end up stationed at a military base on some backwater planet on the fringes of the galaxy. If I could just find some other way to earn some credits, I could give this lousy job up. Retire my uniform, so to speak. The senior officers don't really like it when we start answering questions, you know? They don't want us fraternizing with the locals. Just another perk of the job. No offense, but I probably shouldn't be talking to you anymore. I'm just going to say something that might get me in trouble. I'm surprised to see you again. I thought you'd gotten sick of me complaining about my job at the Sith military base. I guess I kind of obsess about it. That can't be healthy. No offense, but I probably shouldn't be talking to you anymore. I'm just going to say something that might get me in trouble. You know, 
know it's bad enough the Sith conquered this planet, but do they have to come in here, relax, and rub their presence in our faces? Yeah, that quarantine must be tough when you off while they're stuck here. You should try and make the best of it and order yourself some Teresian ale. It'll take away some of the sting. I don't know what the guys in here find so attractive about those Twi'leks. Look at them. They're dressed like little dirty space wenches. I heard the Sith sent a bunch of patrols to the Undercity. They probably went to loot the crash sites of those Republic escape pods that went down there. It's a good thing a few of the Sith come in here to relax when they're off duty. It should keep them from closing this cantina down. You aren't from Terrace, are you? Do yourself a favor and stay away from the Teresian Ale. It packs more kick than most off-worlders can handle. Have you gone into the music room in the back? Yeah, I don't care much for the band, but those dancing Twi'leks are something else, I'm telling you now! Nice outfit. I've seen outcasts in the Undercity who dress better than you. Oh, there's too many people in this cantina since they added the music room in the back. I come here to relax, not to fight with crowds. What? Why are you speaking to me? Can't you tell from my clothing that I'm of the nobility? Get away from me. I can't be seen talking with a common rabble. You wouldn't be proper for a man of my sin. I'm surprised to see you again. But no offense. Well, hello there. I can see from your exotic appearance that you are not from Taurus originally. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Jurgen. What do you think of our local music? The band is quite good, wouldn't you agree? They're on the verge of intergalactic stardom, you know. There's something of an acquired taste, but mark my words, they'll be famous soon enough. They were about to go on tour before the Sith quarantine stranded them here. Would you like to meet the band after the show? Maybe have a brief brush with fame before they become intergalactic superstars? I can arrange it, you know. They have a standing arrangement with one of the Rodian bodyguards backstage. For the small sum of 20 credits, he'll let me set up a meeting with you and the band. Excellent. Wait here while I go set it up with my contact. I'll give him your credits, then I'll come back out and take you to meet the band. Was that Jurgen I just saw you talking to? Do you know where he went? You fell for his story too? Well, I got some bad news for you, sister. He ain't coming back. I gave him 20 credits last week and he just disappeared with it. When I tried to get backstage to look for him, nobody even knew who he was. He can't set up a meeting with the band. He's just some sleazy con artist spinning lies. I doubt he'd be dumb enough to show up here again. He knows I'm looking for him. And if I ever find him, he's gonna pay for ripping me off. With interest. Hi there. Haven't seen you around before. Of course, they don't give us Sith officers from the military base much time off. I'm off duty right now, so I'm not in uniform. My name is Yun Genda, Junior Officer First Class with the Sith Occupation Force. I'm actually a little surprised you're talking to me at all. Most of the people here on Terrace can't stand the Sith. They make us a pretty lonely job. You're an off-worlder. Huh. I think you'd be even more angry being stuck on a foreign planet and all. You know, it's like everyone on this backwater planet is in a permanent bad mood. Don't they know they have to make the best of things? Exactly. It's all about attitude. I didn't ask to be assigned to this backwater planet, but I try to make the best of it. It's pretty easy to get depressed on an assignment like this, but we do what we can to keep our spirits up.
That's true. It's nice to meet someone who understands what I'm going through. It's good to talk about this stuff. It gets pretty lonely at the military base. I have to get going soon. I've got a shift at military base. But some of us junior Sith officers are having a party later to blow off some steam. I'd really like to see you again. Why don't you drop by the party? I'll show you where it is on your map. Don't be late. We're starting right after our shifts end. Most of us won't even be going back to the base to lock up our uniforms. I look forward to seeing you there. That quarantine must be tough when the off-world are stuck here. You should try and make the best of it in order I don't know what the guys in here find so attractive about those Twi'leks. I wish the off-duty Sith would stop- <laughs> Nice outfit! You steal those clothes from a bum in the lower city? Oh well, guess you don't have to have good taste in clothes to come and enjoy the music. That quarantine must be tough when the off-world are stuck here. You should try and make the best of it in order yourself- Mucha shakapaka. Yi ki kun no ba mulad raki chicho. Chakapaka, ye. I can't believe we couldn't get arena tickets for this match! Now we'll have to watch the duel on the view screen. Who cares? It's Duncan and Gurlon fighting. It's not like we're gonna miss anything good. Shh, they're about to start, so quit complaining and just watch the view screen. Ladies and gentlemen, I draw your attention to the dueling ring. Here, two combatants will battle for your viewing and gambling enjoyment. Now. I hope all your bets are down because we're ready to roll! In this corner I give you Gurlon Two Finger! And over here, looking to climb the ranks yet again, is the ever-persistent Deadeye Duncan! Nobody's great surprise, Deadeye is down again. Don't worry, folks, he's just unconscious. As usual, our medics will have him up and about in a bit. Well, that was quick, wasn't it? So I give you the winner, Gerlon Poofinger. Gerlon used to be one of the best in the game. Now he's barely better than old Dead-Eye Duncan. Marl's been around forever. I wonder if he ever thinks about retiring. What are you looking at, fresh meat? You want a piece of me? You want to step in the dueling chambers with me? 
I'm Deadeye Duncan, the number five ranked duelist in this cantina. You must have seen me in the dueling chambers, right? Uh, five? But it's an elite group, okay? It's not like just anyone can step into the dueling chamber. Well, actually, anyone can, but not many do. Big talk. Go speak with the hut in the corner to back it up. He's the duel organizer. I'll look forward to our match. Fresh meat is just what I need to end my losing streak. I haven't seen you around here before. You looking to step into the duel ring, or did you just come to watch? Good to see some new blood in the fight game. Things have gotten pretty stale around here lately. If you're serious about this, go talk to Azure the Hut. He's the duel organizer. He'll probably start a rookie like you out against Duncan. Wait, I know what you're going to say. It's great to see a woman in the duel ring strike a blow for equality. I'm a credit to my gender, blah, blah, blah. Just say it, okay? I'm just here to take care of business in the dueling room. For some reason, every woman who comes in here thinks we should have some kind of female bond. Guess what? We don't. Well, now you know why they call me Ice. If you're looking for a match, go talk to Azure. He's that big hut over there in the corner. Otherwise, just go away. Back again? Didn't you get the message last time? I'm not here to make friends. Talk to the duel organizer if you want a match. Otherwise, leave me alone. Hello there, Offworld. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Marl. I'm one of the duelists here at the cantina. I was wondering when you'd get around to talking to me. No, we've never met. It's just that most people who come here to watch the duels are bored nobles, looking for a little excitement in their drab lives. But you're different. You look like you know a thing or two about combat. I'm guessing you didn't come here to sit on the sidelines and watch a duel. Are you looking for a match? If you're interested in setting up a match, or if you want to place a wager, just go speak to Adger. He's that hut over in the corner. He'll make all the arrangements. My area of expertise is pretty much limited to the dueling ring and the other combatants here at the cantina. But I'll try to answer any questions you might have. Only what I heard from the news reports, which are all censored by the Sith. Some pods crashed into the Undercity. Anyone caught harboring survivors will be arrested and executed. Really, I, I don't think it's any of my business. The Sith want to call themselves rulers of Terrace? It's fine by me, just so long as they don't shut the duel ring down. I can only tell you what is recorded in the basic visitor guides. The Upper City is a beautiful destination where intergalactic travelers can find all their basic needs. If you're looking for excitement, the duel rings here are your best bet. Stay out of the Lower City. It's nothing but a gang-ridden slum. Is there anything else you want to know? You've come to the right man. I've been dueling here for nearly 20 years, and I remember every duelist who's been through this canteen. Of course, there are only five of us left now. Duncan, Gerlon, Ice, Twitch, and me. Bendak Starkiller comes in once in a while, but he's retired. Duncan, worst duelist ever. His nickname is Deadeye because he fights like he's blind. I wouldn't worry about him. Gerlon used to be pretty good before the accident. His blaster overheated during a match and exploded. One in a million occurrence. Paralyzed three fingers on his right hand. They call him Gerlon Two Fingers now. He hasn't been the same since the accident. But he's still out here trying to earn a living. That's why I never fight with blasters. Ice? Well, she's not much for personality. But she's a hell of a fighter. Confident, steady. Popular with the crowd, too. If you go up against her, you know you're in for a tough match. Twitch? I think that Rodian is completely crazy, but he's very, very good despite his insanity. Or maybe because of it. Even I can't beat him. Me? Well, I've seen my share of battles. My best years are gone. But I can still hold my own against anyone in here. Except maybe Twitch. What can I say? 
Bendak was a legend, never lost a match his entire career. But he was bloodthirsty as an Iridorian battle rager. Never liked having to face the same opponent twice. Got so he wouldn't battle anyone unless it was a death match. When they made death matches illegal, he went into retirement. He still hangs around here sometimes. Bendak's the best there ever was, plain and simple. Even now, I'd bet that anyone who steps into the ring with him wouldn't make it out alive. My area... The duels themselves are simple enough. Two combatants armed with stun pistols enter the ring. One walks out a winner. The other is carried out unconscious on a stretcher. If you're interested in setting up a match, or if you want to place a wager, just go speak to Adger. He's that hut over in the corner. He'll make all the arrangements. Goodbye, stranger. Maybe we'll talk again later. Back again? Didn't you get the... Talk to Adjo. He's in charge. Fibroblades and blasters, and nobody ever dies. How come I get the feeling you're trying to take us for a ride? <laughs> This is for the best. We could use those credits from these duels, but using your real name is too risky. The Sith might have come across a crew manifest back on the Endar Spire. <laughs> 
presentation in store for you. You've seen him lose night after night after night, but this time he's after fresh meat. In this corner I give you Deadeye Duncan! And in the other corner, a relative newcomer to the Taris dueling scene, emerging from the shadows with no history, no past, and no name, the mysterious stranger! Is there anything more exciting than a woman who's armed and dangerous? Twitch is my favorite. He's wild. I saw your match against Duncan. Not bad for a rookie. But Deadeye's a joke. Even after I lost the use of my fingers, I can still beat him. Go talk to Azure, the duel organizer, if you want to step up to the big leagues. I'll show you what it's like to fight a real duelist. What do you want? Oh, let me guess. You beat me in the dueling ring, and now you're gonna rub it in my face. Eh, well, I'm used to it. So pardon me if I ignore your gloating. Questions? I don't have to answer your questions just because you beat me in the ring. Look, I admit it, you're better than me. Everyone's better than me. Blindfolded, one-legged tack with a rusty knife could probably beat me, okay? Is that what you wanted to hear? You satisfied yet? Are you happy now that you've taken the last shred of dignity I have? What do you want? Wait. Wrong. Just because we're both duelists doesn't mean we're suddenly friends. So give me some space, stranger. I've got nothing more to say to you. I see you got your feet wet in the duel ring. Not bad. You've got real talent, kid. Stick with it and you'll go places. If you're interested in setting up a match, or if you want to place a wager, just go speak to Adger. He's that hut over in the corner. Goodbye, stranger. Maybe we'll talk. What do you want? Wait, let me guess. Now that you're a duelist, you figure we have something in common. Something to chat about, right? Wrong. Just because we're both duelists doesn't mean we're suddenly friends. So give me some space, stranger. I've got nothing more to say to you. Ha! Chachis kadom puta kasamu bakka fomu 
Square stranger, but if I still had the use of my fingers, you wouldn't have won. Back before my injury, I would have mopped the ring up with you. What do you want? Oh, let me guess. You beat me in the dueling ring. Questions? I don't have to answer your quest. Look, I admit it. You're better. Is that what you want? No. Oh, well. Okay. Goodbye then. I see you got your feet wet in the duel ring. Not bad. You've got real talent, kid. Stick with it and you'll go places. Goodbye, stranger. Maybe we'll talk again later. What do you want? Wait, let me guess. Now that Rob... That Twitch is an animal. You couldn't pay me enough to get into the ring with him. Hey! You're one of the duelists. The one they call the Mysterious Stranger. Sure, I know you. I saw Bendix Starkiller sitting in the Pazak room. I wish he'd come out of retirement. You know, it's bad enough as Sith Conqueror. Isn't this band great? Have you gone into the music room in the back? Nice outfit. As an outcast, it's a good thing a few of the Sith come in here to relax. You aren't from Terrace, are you? Have you gone into the music room in the back? Yeah, I don't care much for the band, but those dancing twice. What? Why are you speaking to me? Can't you tell from my clothing that I'm of the nobility? Get away from me. Back again? Is there something old Garouk can do for you? Or did you just come to chat with a lonely old man? 
No, of course, of course. Leave me alone. I'm not giving out any auto prints to my fans today. What? You don't recognize me? I'm Bendix Starkiller, the most famous blaster slinger on Taurus. Over 100 duels without a loss. Every one of them a death match. Now I'm retired now. Once death matches became illegal, I just got bored with the game. I got no interest in using stun blasters. There was nobody left to challenge me anyway. I've seen you in the dueling ring, but you haven't impressed me. Now, if you could beat all these other pretenders, that might get my attention. Since I'm not going to answer them, you'd just be wasting your breath. So, move along before people see us talking and think I'm signing on a bridge today. I don't want to be mobbed. People are always bugging me for my auto print. Comes with the territory. You survive over 100 death matches and people tend to see you as something of a legend. I'm retired now. Once death matches became illegal, I just got bored with the game. I got no interest in using this. I've seen you in the dueling ring. Off with you then. I'm done with this conversation anyway. Don't you just love watching the Kazakh players? I heard the Sith are sending salvage teams down to the Undercity to recover those Republic escape pods. I've got a ton of things to do today. I can't talk to you. If the Sith wanted to get on everyone's good side, they'd go clean up the swoop gangs in the lower city. Coming to, huh? <gasps> Slavi's just walking around the upper city. Shouldn't you go to Laura says you belong, Slummy? Oh, this is rich. Yeah, like he said. These streets are for upper city citizens. <laughs> you better get out of the way if you know what's good for you.
A drink? Hey, hey! For a slummy, you ain't so bad. Come on, boys, this slummy's pie in the next round. <laughs> no way, forget it. No more drinks. The land love as it is. Uh, uh, yeah. I guess you're right. Maybe next time, slummy. <laughs> Come on, fellas, let's go. If the Sith cared anything about us, they'd stop that gang war in the lower city. King Kun Shi Kaikachin Awana Wamata. Nishi la chorga king kun pala mona reji. Ching pala niska mule or tun rata tigin po drunko. The search at doma wana kunda tama. We tin and bon rank thong. Mule ra on shanturing um ni patoka wanga chonzi te. Ika krotu haku jije. Watu yama kama wuna henak nek. Kipuna, bona na kichu. Kim pa mule ra duana. Don Kim Bano Kunok Nek. Kava Numpa Kum Pialia Monokata. Ranga Kun Bis King Nomoruat. Kakin Chana Guana Poklon. You'd think people would be a little more tolerant of others in this day and age. <laughs> I guess stupidity and ignorance will never go out of style. Genchopa Chawi Tichok Twis Yun Kun. Watu Yama Kama Wuna Henak Nek. Bugra Shak Kun Tichi Wa Um Chawa. Dong Abuk Shami Nonok. Chinapala Mule. Tonki ba non tontek, tu ni cha chon kun ne mule brabast. Kin kun shi kai kachin awana wamata. Ni shi la chorga kin kun pala mona reji. Ching pala niska mule or tun rata tigin po drunko. Desar cha doma wana kunda tama. Kuyami juo tik chita na patogta. Ya fulke gogala jiji. Ka wana bora atu gawa. Kan ki do rakun. Watimi ala bola. Kakin cha na kwat na bon kon. Wana kumbes. Chi pala mulek. Tong ki pa na nonek. Tu nik ton chun chun ki nemolek rabest. Uf mala nibo kurk. Witimem bon rank tong. Muli ra on shanturing um ni patoka wanga chonzi te. Ika krotu haku jije. Watu yama kama wuna henak nek. Haku jikopa. Jino mula rak gampiak. Slim jo puan wanduana. Tangabun shan om nang. Wanga kun beast kin ba mula ra. Choni yun tun jiji ida duana. Kawa vulpa muji gumana. Tonga book sha um nak nong kin kun shin shin kin ni kin kun na bule mule raji kun chuni yun ni jiji alduana kava volpa muli kumana Rundi i chawa tongbola Johnny Ku. You may want to know Laura Weisha Waga Shichi. Can chop a chawi ti chop twis yun kun. What to yama kama wuna henak nek. Bugra shak kun ti chi wa um chawa. Dong abuk shami no nok. 
kakin cha na kwat na pon kon wana kumbes chi pala mulek tong ki pa na nonek tu nik ton chu chun ke nemolek rabest uf mala ni bokurk ki puna na bon sha kava dumpa ku paliaya mokai pata Watawa mamuli ri kin kun cho peshwa no ba mule raji jone yutur yanchi ida bola on chichnek ba mule selima wanga kun bikin china pala mule tonki ba non tontek tuni cha chon kun ne mule brabast tanga bun shan om nang Wanga kun beast kin ba mula ra choni yun tun gigi ida dwana kava vul pa mulji gumana tanga bok sha um nak nong kin kun shin shin kin ni kin kun na bule mule raji kun chuni yun ni gigi al dwana kava vul pa muli kumana kava dumpa kapalia monapata Bona nakachu yin kin kun no ba mule rachi kun tong na bun shan nu yang china pala mule tong ki ba non tontek tun ni cha chon kun ne mule rabast hachu apanki ji shawa anibon ka sha chona si ichua byong bo joni mina mamba to mule ra hakugri kat kota para bola Kakin cha na kwat na pon kon wana kumbes chi pala mulek tong ki pa na nonek tu nik ton chu chun ki nemolek rabest uf mala ni bokurk chi na pala mule tong ki ba non tontek tu ni cha chon kun ne mule rabast kipuna bona na kichu kin pa mule radwana tong kin pa no kunok nek Kava numpa kum pialia monokata ranga kun bis kin no moruat kakin chana guana po kon ni bajoni yo la wish do pa yuma pasen la ti no goto ken chopa chawi ti chop twis yun kun watu yama kama wona henak nek bugra shak kun ti chi wa um chawa dong abuk shami no no kipuna na bon sha Kava dumpa kupaliaya mokai pata. Tanga bunshan. Randi i chawa tongbola Johnny Ku. Yuma wama nibo lora waisha waga shichi. spreads through our streets, friends and fellow humans. I bring you a warning, a warning of a great plague spreading across our planet. Please, listen to me. My name is Gorton Kolu. Will you join my cause? We must band together if we are to stop the spread of vermin and scum throughout Taris. I am speaking of the hideous-looking aliens who walk the world of Taurus. The Wookies and Ephorians and Rodians and Bith, all of them! Listen, friend, for these are dark times. That is why I, Gorton Kolu, have formed the Anti-Alien League. The time has come for action! We cannot sit idly by while aliens blight our glorious planet! You are like all the rest. You will not see the truth. On the day of reckoning, you will suffer with the rest of the alien lovers. Come on, we should keep moving. Cook or no, people like him can make trouble for us. If this crit the evil walks among us, the enemy is here. We must act now before we are. 
Rogue's elevator is off limits. Only Sith patrols and those with proper authorization are allowed into the lower city. It's obvious from the way you're dressed that you're not one of the Sith patrols, so unless you have the authorization papers, you must move along. If you were supposed to have them, you'd know where to get them. Now quit wasting my time and move along. I'm not here to give you information. I work for the Sith, not the Taurus Taurus board. Now just move along, unless you have the proper authorization papers. If Sith cared anything about us, they'd stop that gang war in the lower city. A plague spreads through our streets. We cannot sit idle. If this crazy street preacher keeps on about war and days of reckoning, the Sith just might lock him away. Greetings and good day. On behalf of the new Sith rulers, I am programmed to attack. I am a critical drop. Then if you will... Out of our way, citizen. We're on official Sith business. Just stand aside if you know. Stay out of the lower city. That place is overrun with gangs. I heard the Sith are sending salvage teams down to the Undercity to recover those Republic escape pods. Hey, you made it! I was beginning to wonder if you were going to show. The party's in full swing, come on in. You have to try this Teresian ale, it's fantastic. We should have conquered this planet ages ago. Careful, you. That wine's got quite the kick. A couple more bottles and we'll all be passed out on the floor. Who cares? We're not on duty tomorrow. Let's live a little. Come on, drink up.
What? I I'm sorry. I don't want to get in the way of official Sith business. You're one of them Sith, ain't you? My mommy says I'm not supposed to talk to you. Uh, I'm sorry. I don't want to get in the way of official Sith business. Please, don't take me for questioning. I, I don't know anything, I swear! I'm sorry. I don't want to get in the way of official Sith business. Uh-huh. On it. It's open. I'm here. Please, don't take me for questioning. I, I don't know anything. I s- uh, I'm sorry. I don't want to get in the way of official Sith business. You're one of them Sith, ain't you? My mommy says I'm not supposed to talk to you. anything wrong if you want to search the place go ahead I won't stop you I've got nothing to hide from you Let's go. Please, don't hurt me. I'm just a simple merchant. I don't want anything to do with you, Sith. Please, just leave me alone. I'm... I'm just an ordinary citizen minding his own business. Really, 
You Sith don't... Please, don't take me for questioning. I, I don't know anything, I swear! I'm not looking for any trouble with you Sith. Please, just leave me alone. Please, don't hurt me. I'm just a simple merchant. I, I don't want anything to do with you Sith. Please, just leave me alone. You Sith should shut this guy up. I think he's violently dangerous. Just li listen to me, people. That is a... You Sith should shut this guy up. I think he's violently dangerous. Just listen to him. Greetings, my Sith friends. Rest assured I have all the proper permits to be here, spreading my message. Feel free to stay and listen if you wish. You'll find my message most enlightening. Greetings, my Sith friends. Feel free... Tunirama na praka donko tsercha chupa panki. Ni bajoni yo love wish. Dopa yuma pasen lati non gutu. Randi i chawa tongbola johnny ku. Yuma wama nibo lora waisha waga shichi. Please, don't take me for questioning. I, I'm sorry. I don't want to get in the way of official Sith business. Don't worry. If I hear anything, you Sith will be the first to know. For a price, of course. The Sith Governor said I could keep this medical facility open. I have the proper permits. Please, I don't want any trouble. Ready. The Sith Governor said I could keep this medical facility. I'm sorry. I don't want to get in the way of... Official Sith business. Please, don't take me for questioning. I, I don't know anything, I swear! Panki, Jishawa Anibun Kasha, Chonasi, Ichua, Byongbo Joni, Minamawato, Mulera. Ta 
Kunchus Tachmiki Grabulmoglo, Kachichu Ita Bodunga, Tulnobank, Waleo Ganda Nalu Chuchut, Polisha Punka, Bola Wana Chikne, Mule Slimo, Pudadara Nanga Kubis, Mule Rabes. Another Sith Patrol. I'm telling you, you're wasting your time here. Go ahead and search my apartment again if you want. You'll find the same thing as last time. Nothing. Me. I'm just the janitor here. I don't know nothing that would be useful to you, Sith. You don't. Hachu apanki, jishawa anibonka sha chona si ichua biongbo Johnny. Like to see my inventory? That is why you're here, isn't it? At least I hope so. Questions? Oh, I, I, I don't know anything. Nothing you Sith would find interesting, anyway. I'm just a simple shopkeeper. Of course, of course, right away. Please, don't take me for question. I, I don't know anything, I swear! Hey, what do you think you're doing? You can't go into the cantina while you're on duty. Then you shouldn't be in full uniform. If you're off duty, go change your outfit. If not, get back to your patrol room. Hey, what do you think you're doing? You can't go into the cantina. Good. Get back to your patrol route. We need to keep a strong presence in the streets to maintain order here. Why are you get away from me? Yeah, that quarantine must be tough when you off world are stuck here. You should try and make the check out those Twi'lek dancers. I don't know. Mucha shaka panka. The off-duty Sith would stop coming in here for drinks. Well, there's too many people in this cantina. You aren't from Terrace, are you? Do yourself a favor and stay away from the Teresian Ale. It packs more kick than most off-worlders can handle. Where did you get those clothes? A trash compactor in the lower city? And where are those drinks we ordered? Why is the help here so incompetent? One word from Daddy and I could get you fired.
How dare you speak to me like that? Daddy's going to hear about this. Why do you poor folk always smell so funny? Paris isn't such a bad place. I've been stationed in worse places than this during my commission. You know, it's bad enough the Sith conquered this planet, but do they have to come in here, relax, and rub their presence on our faces? You aren't from Terrace, are you? Do yourself a favor and stay away from the tree's nail. It packs more kick than most off-worlders can handle. If you're here to complain about the quarantine, don't waste your breath. Now that lower city is nothing but a slum. If the Sith want to win us, Terizian's over. Anything more exciting than a woman who's armed and dangerous? 
Twitch is my favorite. He's wild. What do you want? Oh, let me guess. You beat me a... Oh, well... You beat me fair and square, stranger. What do you want? Wait, let me guess. Now that you're a duelist, you figure we have something in common. Something to chat about, right? Wrong. Just because we're both du... I see you got your feet wet in the duel ring. Not bad. Goodbye, stranger. Maybe. presentation in store for you. Over in this corner, a woman with steel on her bones and ice water in her veins. She's cold and quick as death itself. You know her. You love her. Ice. And in the other corner, a rising star taking that first step into the big leagues. I give you the mysterious stranger. Oh, 
I recognize you. You're that new duelist everyone's talking about. The mysterious stranger. Hey, stranger. I like watching you in the ring. Nothing's more exciting than a woman who isn't afraid to deal out the hurt. It's too bad I'm married. Twitch is my favorite. He's wild. You beat me fair and square. I've never been one to shy away from the cold, hard truth. So I'll just come right out and say it. I can't compete with the likes of you, stranger. I know when I'm overmatched. You're good. Very good. But you're wrong if you think that means I'm suddenly going to warm up to you. Truth is, I really don't have anything more to say. So you might as well move on. I've never been one to shut you. Pretty impressive, stranger. Ice is no pushover. People are starting to take notice of you. They say you're the best thing to come along since Twitch stepped into the ring. But if you're gonna keep climbing the ranks, then I guess I'm next on your hit list, kid. I'm looking forward to it. You don't waste any time, do you? Go talk to Adger. He'll set the match up. Everyone's worried the Sith will come in here and shut this place down. Can you imagine how dull it would be if we didn't have any music on Terrace? Yeah, that lower city is nothing but a slum. If the Sith want to win us Terizian's over, they I'm sorry, I'm too busy to talk. I've got to get these drink orders to the customers. You aren't from Terrace, are you? Nice outfit. I've seen outcasts in the... Oh, there's too many people in this cantina since they... You aren't from Terrace, are you? Do yourself a favor and stay away from the tree here. Packs more kick than most off worlders can handle. Back again? You're starting to bore me. I don't come here to talk, I come to watch the duels and see if there's anyone worthy of stepping into the ring with me. Off with you then. I'm done with this conversation anyway. Ladies and gentlemen, draw your eyes to the center ring. We have a very special presentation in store for you. As a legend of the sport, a 20-year veteran who still knows how to show the young kids a trick or two. Let's have a big hand for Mo! But there's always some young gun coming up to knock the veterans off. And we've got one of the best right here. I give you the mysterious stranger. Gerlon used to be one of the best in the game. Now he's barely better than old Deadeye Duncan. Marl's been around forever. I wonder if he ever thinks about retiring. I've never been one. 
pretty impressive, stranger. Ice is no pushover. People, if you're... Goodbye, stranger. Welcome to the Equipment Emporium. Finest selection of supplies in all of Terrace. You interested in seeing what I have in stock? Because of the Sith quarantine, I haven't been able to stock any new inventory, but I've still got some nice items you might be interested in.
leave the Sith but a quarantine on the planet. It's bad enough. If you get your hands on that Rakul serum, take it to Zax in the lower city bounty hall. Welcome back. Are you in need of healing or medical supplies? I can treat you right here at the center for almost any condition, except the Rakul disease, of course. Goodbye.
Welcome to the Equipment Emporium. Fine. Because... Ready. Welcome back. Are you in need of healing or medical supplies? I can treat you right here at the center for almost any condition, except the Rakul disease, of course. It will just take me a moment while I examine your injuries, and then I'll administer the proper treatment. I'm here. Punky, Jishawa and Nibon Kasha, Chona si Ichua Byongbo Johnny. Tangabu Sha Tangabu. that an alien lover such as yourself is still allowed to walk free? I've seen how the Sith operate. I know they will support my anti-alien policies. When the day of reckoning comes, you will suffer with the rest of the scum and alien lovers. You are like all the rest. You will not see the truth. On the day of reckoning, you will suffer with the rest of the alien lovers! Come on, we should keep moving. Cook or no, people like him can make trouble for us. What? 
elevator is off limits. Only Sith patrols and those with proper authorization are allowed into the lower city. It's obvious from the way you're dressed that you're not one of the Sith patrols, so unless you have the authorization papers, you must move along. Move along, then. I'm gonna need some kind of disguise if we want to get past this guy. The evil what? walks among us. The enemy is here. We must act. Now before we are overrun with the vermin invaders. Right. races sometimes. They go fast and make lots of noise. I remember when a person didn't have to worry about thieves rummaging through their home. You ain't supposed to be here. This ain't your home. Don't. Don't hurt my family. Look, just take what you want and get out. Is you one of the Sith? My daddy says the Sith are nothing but bullies. You don't look like a bully. Just move along. There's nothing to see here. Where did you hide those Sith uniforms? Did you sell them to the Terizian underground? Start talking. I want answers. He offered to he endured it all, and was he good, and he behind all of the earth. When now, for the Dufka, for you. Too curious for your own good, civilian. This doesn't concern you. I know all about Sith interrogations. This isn't going to end well. I'm getting sick of your lies, you alien scum. We've got your ugly mug and a security tape from the base. Start talking before I splatter your slimy brains all over this room. Uh-oh. I think the commander's losing his temper. I'm glad I'm out of here. It took me an hour to clean the bloodstains from my uniform after the last interrogation. Just stay out of this if you know what's good for you. Smart move. This is your last chance. Where did you hide those uniforms you stole?
A threat? I knew you were a spy. Stay out of the lower city. That place is overrun with gangs. I heard the Sith are sending salvage teams down to the Undercity to recover those Republic escape pods. I've got a ton of things to do today. I can't talk to you. Stay out of the lower city. That place is overrun with gangs. Please, please don't hurt me. You don't have to kill me. I'll have Davik's money if he if he just gives me a little more time. Please, I don't want to die. Here, I've got 50 credits on me. That's all I've got. It's yours. Just don't tell Davik where I'm hiding, okay? I'm begging you. You mean, you're not here to kill me? But I, I thought you were one of Davik's bounty hunters. If you're not here to kill me, what do you want? I don't think anyone can help me. I owe Davik money, and I was late with the payment. So he went to Zax in the bounty office and put a price on my head. I've been hiding here ever since. But sooner or later, someone will find me. Unless I somehow come up with another 200 credits. I'm a dead man. to a stranger just to help them out? <laughs> I don't believe it. Well, uh, thank you. Wow, that sure was generous of you. I just hope we don't end up needing those credits later on. Now I can pay off Davik. Oh, thank you. You saved my life. <sighs> I better go give this to Davik right away.
what? Listen to me, people. Another patrol heading down to the lower city, eh? Well, good luck. I've heard it's pretty rough down there. There's a big swoop gang war going on, you know. You better watch yourself. Those gangs will take a shot at anyone, even us. It's too bad we don't have the manpower just to sweep those slums clean.